doing my hair, especially permed it up so that it flops around. <laughs> Still working on um, the new license um, integration for DocuPletion Forms. We got a new license from the original code creators, so I can do a few different things that I was not by law allowed to do before. Um, and we are actually updating and upgrading the core program. We're going to add some add-ons onto it. So we have to update and then add these add-ons. Um, a couple different things. There's going to be new ability with a PDF. We already have a PDF reader, which is a separate program that accesses the same database. Um, but we're connecting to Zapier also, so you'll be able to connect to 1,500 different programs. But beyond that, we have a CRM tool, um, a, a MySQL tool, and also um, a CSV component, so you'll be able to, um, I believe, webhook straight to a CSV comma separated version is what Excel spreadsheets are. Um, and then also we're going to be doing a training on how to webhook directly to your own MySQL. And then also we're going to have a, just a little cheater thing. It's not a cheater thing. It's just how to how to connect directly to a MySQL without web hooking. We're adding this different little component. So uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, we're going to be still offering hosting in our um, form reader for $5, but we're adding two other levels of subscription in there. The $5 payment is going to be separate in case anybody just wants to keep their WordPress that they create, they'll keep that because it's just $5. Um, and we didn't want to connect it with the actual membership to the program. Um, it's a separate thing. It's the form reader and it reads the free contact forms anyway. So um, it's it's just sort of separate from what we're going to be making is a, is a $15 level of subscription and a $25 level of subscription. So... Um, there's going to be some different components that aren't in there currently. I don't have the exhaustive list. You're going to be able to use Facebook to collect data from the people who fill out your forms. So they can just, they can say like log in with Facebook, you know, collect their name and email, things like that. Um, I have to double check to make sure that this thing actually fits with what all Facebook just went through for their logins. I think data gathering though is different because it's not a login. Um, and it's you authorizing the program to take your information and enter it into a form field. So I guess that's the exact same thing, but it's just not logging in. It's not access. So it's probably probably not the same thing. Um, yeah, that's about it. We're still working on retainercrypto.online. You can buy $20 pre-sale wallets. Uh, it's pretty cool on retainercrypto.online. Um for $20, you're going to be able to buy what's going to cost $50. And we need to get to the $8,500 mark to pay our crypto token um, software engineers the money they need to create the smart contract on the ERC-20 standard on Ethereum's network. So the way it's going to work, it's actually going to cost um, about three pennies per dollar to do a transaction. So it's not a lot. Um, and the way it's three pennies, it's half a penny and 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 half a penny. Those six half pennies add up to be three whole pennies. <laughs> um, and what the half a penny, half a penny is, uh, part of the one half a penny is paying the Ethereum network crypto miners to do the calculations across the decentralized ledgers when they're doing the blockchain calculations. Um, those guys, when you hear about mining crypto tokens like mining bitcoin and stuff um those guys are getting paid for doing calculations they're not like panning for gold and there's like little broken pieces of crypto or like dropped crypto that fell out of somebody's wallet it's not that it's the network paying them some crypto for doing the calculations and then um there's going to be a little bank fee because when you buy an rco is our ticker name it's it's um going to cost one dollar plus the plus one penny of a transaction fee. So first you have a wallet and then you want to, let's say you want to convert $5,000 um, to, um, to um, RCO. So 5,000 
times or divided by 100. So it's going to cost $50 to convert $5,000. Um, and that's one whole penny. So the half penny goes to the network and the bank for converting it. And then we, we have a half penny on our side because half of that half penny is going to go to an affiliate. So um, to get the whole project out there to keep it up and running, we have to pay some marketers. So um, we're going to be doing our own marketing and trying to save that one quarter of a penny for our coffers to keep the project up and going. But um, the power of affiliate marketing is really amazing. So when you sell a wallet for $50, you'll get $25. And then when there's a $5,000 transaction, you have to convert the dollars to RCO and then you transact from the buyer to the seller um, and it will cost $50 there and then there's another 50. So it basically will cost some $150 to do um, a $5,000 transaction plus $50 wallet. So if they're just doing a one-time transaction, it'll cost $200, but they're paying um, for the benefit of as a buyer being able to commit all $5,000 to the transaction so that the seller, whoever it is providing the ongoing service, will know that the money's there. And then they just have to perform incrementally so that the buyer can pull the trigger on a distribution of a partial payment. And that's what the whole key is, is that it's taking the place of um, traditional trust accounts in business, like you'd pay a lawyer $5,000 and then they'd pay themselves to their uh, business bank account out of that trust account when they've earned the money. So this way they have to report to you and you have to agree that they've earned the money. Um, and lawyers who want to offer this way of taking payment to, to their clients are going to be able to gain trust um, in a different way a little more quickly and maybe have a couple cases in a year where that's what will seal the deal. If you just have it as an option, you know, some people won't want to pay that $200 because they'll already trust you. But maybe some people will say, oh, yeah, I'll do this. I like that idea. I like how that works. I like that I get to be in control and get a little bit of a report and then choose to give you the distribution. Um, and they can't pull the money back out backwards without going to, uh, you know, an arbiter, an arbitrator. Um, there's an oracle key on both sides that allows a third party to unlock the transaction and, and let the monies go partially one way and partially the other way, um, whichever way they decide. You can go to a judge for that as well. You have to you know, file a complaint. So arbitration is really good. Mediation is great if you can agree that you're going to follow or agree that unless there's or agree that you're going to attempt on both sides to. Um, acquiesce to the, the suggestions of a mediator and then just pull the triggers on your own on either side. That's the least expensive way. So uh, we're really hoping that this helps people helps people just to uh, feel better while going through law transactions. It can be used for uh, website design too or anything where you have to pay someone an ongoing amount of money, but you want that service provider to know that the money's there so that they'll start the work and that they'll do good work so that they earn that money that is that is theirs to theirs to earn or lose. So um, that's retainercrypto.online. And you can, when it's done, you'll be able to just use the wallets um, to transact with each other, or you'll be able to use it inside of DocuPletion forms, or we're making an API so you can connect um, your different programs where you take payments now using Stripe or PayPal or LawPay or AffiniPay or any of the other payment gateways, you'll be able to use RetainerCrypto.Online as your payment gateway as an option. So um, we will keep everybody posted, but I am trying to do pre-sale wallets of, of $20. And then if we can get past a $15,000 profit margin once we create it, um, the idea is that those those 500 people who paid $20 on a pre-sale purchase of the wallet will flow back to you $20 worth of RCO. So we have to get to that point of profit. So um, we're hoping it won't take that long once we get it built. But anything can happen with this software stuff. It can take way longer or it can happen overnight. Um, we have a couple marketing strategies 
the marketing campaigns that we're putting together, but it's just inch by inch. So right now we are getting ready to do all the different little additions and upgrades to our core um, contact form program. And that should be incrementally released over the next several months. Thanks for listening to the video. Have a great day.